Hello, Internet, and welcome to some more showdown sessions, um, or at least another showdown session, with um, Lyo. Hello, Lyo. Hello. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed his team report on Tuesday. Um, again, thank you for, you know, doing that on my channel. And um, we thought, you know, as is here, ooh, found the game already. We thought um, we'd jump onto the ladder and see if we can win any games. <laughs> um, <laughs> double Primal with Cresselia. So is this one of the matchups where you said you wouldn't want Gothitelle? Mm, um, maybe we does. do need it because he's got the Kyogre, hasn't he? And he also doesn't have a Thunderous, so that's good. Yeah. Okay, so what could he lead here? Mm. I think he might lead with his own Groudon, but maybe, maybe, maybe Groudon Kangaskhan, maybe Groudon Cresselia. Yeah, so we should have Groudon in the back. And to be honest, I would just. Mm, the Amoongus is a problem. Yeah, it is. I'm not sure if he would pick it though, because we have two fire types. <laughs> yeah. And a Salamence. And a Salamence. I think. It is, it's tricky, isn't it? I think like that I... Amoongus is potentially going to be a big pain. If he leads. Uh, uh, Cresselia and Kyogre, we have a problem um, if we lead anything else than Gothitel and Scrafty, so I would just go with these two. Okay. And have Groudon and Mawai in the back. Okay. Well, Kyogre and Groudon, Ooh, that's a strange lead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, he's got the rain, but he's trapped in. The Groudon is probably physical then, but at least it's intimidated now. Yeah, we are safe to fake out the Kyogre and Trick Room then here. Yeah. This is a really interesting lead. <laughs> yes, it definitely I mean, is. I, d I don't we'll really... Probably, mm. We'll probably go this way that we knock out both the Primals. And I mean, what can he have in the bag? What does I said? Well, one of his Megas and maybe the Amoongus, worst case scenario. Well, we can... Let's see what he does. Yeah. Well, okay, well, screw that. <laughs> it's not physical. It's special. All right. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we should just protect... Uh... I mean, mm. the combo you was on about was Super Fang Protect, and then you can do something next turn too. But if we Super Fang the Kyogre and Psychic the Groudon, we do some good damage this turn, I think. Okay, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, Super Fang hits, which is nice. Psychic also hits. Origin Pulse. Okay. Scrafty avoids that, and the Earth Powers into the Gothitelle with a critical hit. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's bring in... Well, surely the Groudon. Groudon, yeah. And I suppose... This is a, uh, from, from the look of it, it must be a fast Groudon. He has a fast Groudon because Psychic did almost one third. Yeah. Um, so I think we should... Assume he's going to protect his Groudon. Yeah. And or switch it out. So he might one yeah, I would just go for eruption here, hoping he will protect his Groudon. And maybe knock off into the, the Kyogre? Uh Drain Punch. Drain Punch. Okay. Well he does switch that, and it is the Salamence. So, the Kyogre is probably, or well, maybe not, going to go down. We'll see. Oh, it does. Nice. Yeah, and that Salamence takes a lot of damage there as well. Yeah, that Earth Power critical hit on the Gothitelle did not do us any favours. He hasn't brought the Amoongus either, which is nice. Okay, so now we can Super Fang Cresselia and go for another Eruption. Yeah, we just need to bear in mind that his Groudon will come in with Trick Room ended soon. That's That's okay. 
Superfang hits, and no Citrus Berry, and the Eruption Ooh. just takes it out. Okay. That's nice. That is nice. And now we can Super Fang the Groudon, and another Eruption will finish off. Yeah. Do you not want maybe to take advantage of this turn and bring in Mawile, thinking you might protect his Groudon, or is that just too risky? Because we would have a, a fake out in the future, but is that really too risky? Um, we now no need to because. Oh wait, yeah. Okay. No, well, uh, yeah, okay. he he didn't protect the Groudon, right. so it's a good job we did just do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, there we go. We won the game. Hurrah! <laughs> 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 that's, uh, that's, uh, oh, this is an interesting team. We get a Whimsicott and Gengar and Groudon. Definitely familiar with those three Pokemon. Um, and then a more standard other half, Kangaskhan, Smeagol, Xerneas. Hmm. Okay. okay. This is uh, probably a Mega Gengar. Potentially. But I'm still a bit scared of the Kangaskhan Smeagol lead. Yes. Yeah. So let's go with Ho-Oh and... Salamence. Yeah. And Gothi Tech Groudon in the back. Yeah. Yeah. No no Mawile. I suppose Mawile isn't absolutely necessary when we've got Ho and Groudon. Yeah. Trick room is more important. So ooh, Gengar Whimsicott. Gengar okay. Whimsicott. So okay. what are the chances of Whimsicott is gonna go straight for a moonblast onto the Salamence? Seen that quite a lot quite a lot recently. Um I would just go for. Well, he surely will Mega Evolve into Mega Gengar, right? Yeah, probably. And the Whimsicott either will protect as well or go for something like Moonblast on Salamence. I think it will Moonblast Salamence. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe bring in the Gothitelle for the Salamence, but. Yeah, then... I think that's a good idea. Yeah. And go for the Sacred Fire onto Whimsicott. Okay. Yeah, Whimsicott is a real pain. Yeah, so it is Mega Gengar. He taunts the Ho-Oh. Okay. And hidden powers into the Gothitelle. What? That must have been hidden power ice then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Okay. So next he will probably disable our Ho-Oh. So we should go for Brave Bird. Yeah. Onto Gengar, I guess. And psychic and into Whimsicott, maybe? No, Trick Room is more important. Do you not think he's just going to taunt the Gothitelle now? Um, that's okay. If he goes for Taunt on Gothitelle and we get a Brave Bird onto Gengar off... Um, and even if we don't, I mean... Or we could just protect... Ah, but if he has Ankor... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he will have Encore, won't he? Hmm. And, I don't know, maybe maybe, maybe the taunt is just so obvious that he will think we just won't trick room here. But, I don't know, maybe... I think he probably will taunt the Gothitelle. I mean, we could. I, I'm afraid of the Encore disabled combo onto Ho-Oh. Oh, yes. That is right. And if we do trick room, then he can just Encore us the next turn as well, actually. So maybe yes. we do need to psychic the Whimsicott just to definitely knock it out. Okay, let's psychic Whimsicott then. And, and Brave Bird Gengar. Brave Bird. The Gengar? Okay. Ooh, okay. Protects the Gengar. So he does taunt the Gothitelle. So, well, the Whimsicott goes down, which is nice. It gives our Salamence a bit more, well, I was going to say a bit more free reign, but we know this Gengar has got hidden power ice, so yes. we do have to worry about that. Um, he's going to get a free switch into something. Probably the Groudon, I would imagine. We'll see, though. He's taking whatever, he, whatever he brings in, though, we should target down the Gengar next turn with Sacred Fire. Yeah, and Psychic. Oh, I suppose he could, he could disable Psychic. That wouldn't be good. Hmm... We should switch in our Groudon. 
for the Gotha for... Tell. Yes. Yeah. And um, Sacred Fire, the the Gengar. Yeah, the Gengar. He just protected, so. Yeah, yeah, it will be sun boosted, and it means that he can't disable us as well. Oh well, he went for the disable onto the psychic. Yeah, onto the uh, on the Gotha Tell. Gets yeah. a geomancy, and Sacred Fire misses the Gengar. That's not <laughs> that bad, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, how is he nice can't here. Because he can bring in his Groudon now. Mm. And we can just Tailwind and Precipice Blades here. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we are somewhat safe this turn. Yeah. But maybe not in the next turn. I don't know. I wonder if a Hidden Bow Ice and Moonblast can knock out the Groudon. No. Hmm. No. It won't. We haven't seen this last Pokemon either, but we have to assume it is probably the Groudon. Yeah. Oh, well, he does go for the Moonblast. I guess a, guess a special attack drop. Disables the Ho-Oh. Okay, so we get the Tailwind. We get the Precipice Blades. We miss the Gengar. <laughs> and uh, that that did so little to Xerneas as well. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what? What is disabled? Um, Sacred Fire is disabled. Sacred Fire? Yeah. I mean, he's probably going to Moonblast into the Groudon again, I would imagine. Yeah. So we could protect this turn. And Brave Bird the Xerneas? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so we protect the Xerneas that turn. Yeah, he's, he's probably fishing out <laughs> for our Protect. Yeah, okay, he just double protects. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's just go for an attack then and hope we survive the Moonblast. Yeah. Yeah, with a low roll, maybe. No, maybe not. And... Hmm. Brave Bird. He has got Sludge Bomb as well, which doesn't poison us. But we have still got Salamence and Gothitelle, and we are in Tailwind for one more turn. We are in Tailwind, so... Maybe we could put Salamence in and substitute? Yeah, good idea. Maybe. Because, I mean, is he probably will protect the Xerneas here. Yes. But will he protect the Gengar or not? I mean, he did double protect the first turn of Tailwind, so he might just double protect again. We should just uh, Brave Bird Gengar here then. Yeah. Substitute. And uh, substitute with Salamence. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, protects the Xerneas. And he doesn't protect the Gengar. But we knock it out with the Brave Bird. Fantastic. Yes. Nice one. Whew. Okay, so our Tailwind runs out, and he has the Groudon. Um, so really, we can just double-edge the Xerneas here and win, can't we? Unless he's got, like, Hidden Power Ice or something silly on his Groudon like that. Um, Rock Slide, maybe. Let's protect ho -Oh and take out Xerneas with double-edge. Yeah. 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 I mean, he might go for a double protect on his Xerneas. Yeah, but we have to take this chance. Yeah, I mean, there's there's nothing that we can do to, to stop that, really. He doesn't try. He does and gleams. We knock out his Xerneas. And the Groudon does have eruption. And it yeah. does 50% to settlements. Okay. That's what I was fearing, because if we do not protect Ho-Oh here, we might get a knockout. And now we can... Uh, chip damage the Groudon and go for um, something like Sacred Fire. And a Gothi Tail has full HP, right? Almost full, 86%. Yeah, that's cool. So Hyper Voice and Sacred Fire? Yes. So Sacred Fire and not Brave Bird, just to make sure we don't get any more recoil on us. Yes. Right, yeah, yeah. So Hyper Voice does a nice amount. Oh, he actually Thunderbolts. Okay. Okay. Like, that just gives us the game. Yeah, he would. He, I guess he was banking on us protecting the Salamence. Okay. Yeah. Well, Hyper we'll take voice, that. <laughs> and psychic. Yeah. 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 He he forfeits. Okay. Fantastic. Well, there we go. So you know, I think that'll do for today. We've um, you know showcased this team just a little bit more. So. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for joining me, Lyo. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you didn't check out the um, the team report on Tuesday, then you know, go and have a look at it. All of the spreads, all of Zlyo's expert world's top cutting um, analysis in there. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, please like and share and do all that stuff. And um, goodbye from me. Goodbye from Lyo. Goodbye. Goodbye.